In this video, I will explain how to calculate the position of the center of mass of a system for students in AP Physics 1. To find the location of a system's center of mass, multiply each object's mass by its position along an axis. Do this for all of the objects in the system, and then add them up. Whatever you get belongs in the numerator. Then, in the denominator, add up all of the masses in the system. Divide, and you'll have the location of the system's center of mass along the axis. It usually ends up looking something like this. Finding the center of mass is important because we will often model a system of multiple objects as a single object that's located at the system's center of mass. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have a two-object system along the x-axis. Center of mass is a fairly intuitive idea. You can usually predict where it's going to be. I know that the three kilogram object is heavier than the one kilogram object, so the center of mass is probably closer to the more massive object. This is a good way of checking your answer too. Now let's try the calculation. The one kilogram object is at a position of two meters, so one times two. And the three kilogram object is at a position of seven meters, so three times seven for the numerator. Make sure you multiply the masses and the positions first before you add them up. Then the total mass of the system is one plus three, or four kilograms in the denominator. This gives us a center of mass of 5.75 meters, which is consistent with my prediction. If these objects were connected with a rigid rod, I could lift up the system at 5.75 meters and it would behave like a single object.